Where are you from? I'm from oh, Venezuela. You got to turn up the... Oh, hang on. Sorry. Which, where are you from, Valen? Venezuela. Oh. Where Venezuela. In Venezuela. Where in Venezuela? Where? Um, Maracay. Maracay. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. You have a, you have a, well, let's go back to Ben. Ben, do you have a question for Ben, Valen? Yeah, yeah. I have two questions. You can have so, two questions. Yeah, but uh, this is a message from... All includes World Headquarters members. What's up, dude? <laughs> okay, there is uh, my two questions. Um, first, uh, what is the best attitude that you had when you were in Venezuela? The That's the first. What is the best what I had? Memory? Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, we went, oh, well, the concert, first of all, the concert was sweet. The concert, um... The first, we, we've been there twice, right? That was the, we did the two yeah, Twice, yeah. I, well, I remember the first time. Was well, it that football stadium? The first time, the concert was great. And I remember, I remember being kind of stunned at how many beautiful women there were just rolling around everywhere. That was messing me up a little bit because I kind of, I kind of have a, I like Venezuelan women. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, <laughs> but uh, that was that messed me up. And then later, later after we played a concert, the concert was rocking. The crowd was rocking. Then we went to a club. Our our friend who was working with the promoter brought uh, Jose, Chris, and I out to a club, and we kind of danced all night till the sun came up. And it was like I was I just didn't want to leave. I was like, can I, can I please stay here? I don't want. to uh, this place is awesome. But we had to go play. Um, we had to keep going. We played, uh, I think, Columbia the, the next night. So it, we couldn't stay forever. But yeah, the first time we went there, man, it was just unbelievable. It was kind of fascinated. Just all these beautiful brown skinned women rolling around. And I was kind of losing my mind. But yeah, that, that okay. that's question, my answer. <laughs> question number two, Valen. Okay. This could be a I final mean, question I here, have Valen. three questions. But the second is what is. Well, uh, if you could mention three main characters, which will be and why? I'm sorry for my English. I'm so nervous that I can't oh, speak no, well. No worries, no worries. So what? It is, what was? Uh, just run the question by me one more time. I mean, Uno más. If, pregunta. If you could mention uh -huh. three main characters, uh -huh. musicians, artists. Which will be and why? I had another question, but this is the second. So, I don't know. Oh, so it, do do you kind of mean like if I could name three people, uh, any type of people off the top of my head? Who yeah. Would, yeah. Um. <clears throat> well. Okay. Well, three of my favorite people. Yeah. Uh, probably one of my number one favorite people in the world is my dad. My dad is like he is a real hardcore man's man manly man dude and he uh i love the guy he's he's taught me a lot about life and he's he's um he's just been a really great father so he is is like he's my superhero still to this day and uh he's definitely number one on my list of people um uh, uh at this very moment another one of my favorite people is another is another person that i i i I've been around a little bit and gotten to spend some time with a friend of mine. There is a, um, a guy who fights in the UFC, and his name is John Jones. He's a young guy, and he is currently the champion at 205. And I met John years ago and have been in touch with him over, over the past couple of years and, and gotten to see him rise to being a champion fighter. And John is um, he's just he's a special person. He's one of those people that you talk to and he listens to you and he's open to so many different ideas and he's he's just fun to be around because he's an, in, an intense person um who's very good at what he does and he's also very open-minded and, and and fun and i've gotten to spend a lot of time with john well not a lot but i've gotten to see him a bunch and he's just i don't know every time i see john i get psyched to do stuff and be better at what i do so he would be number two and the third okay if i could pick any three people and and on my list, who would it be the third person? Who would be who would be the third person? Uh, <laughs> okay, can I ask you the third question or? Uh, oh, okay, well, is... we'll, we'll go with two and, and, and give me another question. Finalmente, por favor. <laughs> it's, it will be quickly. Uh, <laughs> I'm nervous, I can think very well, but 
what w was the song that you like to play here in Venezuela? What song? Yeah, uh, what in song? Ven in Venezuela. Uh, I think I it may it may have been probably stellar because I get to play a little bass solo in it and, and jump out for a minute. So I know I know when we were down there, we I was uh, I was digging that song. I know I was getting into that one. So I'm I'm gonna say stellar. I'm gonna go with that. Right. Okay, Valen. Well, it's been it's a, a it's been a pleasure oh talking to you, Valen. Uh, now you don't have to be nervous anymore. You made it through it. and You did great. Uh, Venezuela is proud of you, I'm sure. Okay, we're going to take one final call because I want to talk to a gentleman by the name of David from uh, in France. I believe that is David. Yes, David Valderrama. Okay, yeah, I think that's David. Let's go to David. David, you there from France? I believe it is. I believe it. If not, is this? We're going to find out in one second. All right. I believe it is David. Okay, we're trying you, David, and then you're going to be our last. Oh, it's, it's trying to go. It's ringing. Ringing. It looks like we got a picture. No, there it is. David, is that you, my graphic design guy intern from afar? Yeah, can you see me? Yeah, David, how you doing, man? Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up? Hey. David, where are you from, David? I'm from France. Hey. Where, in, where in France? We got that. Where in France? Uh, in the north, in the north of France. Okay. Folks, I want to just do a little prop to this, my friend David. David is the guy that puts up all these great graphics that we have going on, on, on in the morning briefing and so forth. For all you fans that have had your ears blown out on the chat board early in the morning, Here's your man, David, right here. He's the guy with the explosions. I just hit the button. But I want to thank you for all your work, David. Do you have a final question for Mr. Kenny here before we take off? Uh, yeah, I'd like to know uh, what's his favorite track on the new record? Favorite track on the new record? Um, man, there's some good ones. I don't want to, <laughs> I, I don't want to spill too many you beans. Can spill the beans. They're going to spill the beans. Beans being spilled. Um, Not the purpose, actually. <laughs> the, uh, see, I'm... I'm if forgive me because we recorded there's there's more songs that that we did than are actually on the record and i might i don't want to uh mention too much of that kind of stuff but uh the original that, that's on the record right the original is on the record yeah there's a song that is very simple and very beautiful and it is um it is oh man it's 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 a very easy song it's not it's not it's not um very complex or or hidden it's wide open it's a song called the original which when we play it just it feels right it feels so right all the songs feel right but this song called the original is one that like it, it really uh it just it's like easy it's so good and easy i love it and i don't mean easy to play because there's parts of it that are a little tricky i got a couple of a couple of finger busters that don't really sound like finger busters but they're in there but um yeah that song is my jam i could i could listen to that one for like probably 30 minutes straight that's good stuff. Can I spill some beans to you here and tell you the song I really love? Yeah, yeah. Steve's got one, too. Steve, Steve has been listening to I got into Steve's car today, and he was listening to the record. I was like, come oh, yeah. on, dude. Oh, yeah. I've been driving around <laughs> town, Ben, with my, with my windows open. Um, you guys have actually heard it uh, when the band played, or when Mike and Brandon went to Oxford, but it's a track called Tomorrow's Food, and it is stunningly beautiful. Um, and whatever you've heard on the YouTube from... Uh, from the Oxford thing doesn't do it justice. It's just a great, 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 great song. So that's all the spilling of the beans I think we right. should do here now, Ben. David, I want to thank you for all your help. Uh, uh, merci beaucoup, I believe, is the correct uh, expression, <laughs> see? Or that's correct. See, we, Jesus Christ. A, uh, you know, <laughs> this is why Americans got lazy, because it's really tough to speak a lot of language, and oh, thank man. God the rest of the world is much smarter than we are, I'll tell you that. Um, Folks, we're going to call it a day. David, thank you for your help, and uh, we appreciate it, and we'll talk again. For all of you folks that have been supporting the band, uh, I want to thank you. Ben, would you like to give some parting shots here? Yeah, you guys, thanks, thanks for all the support. Thanks for listening. Thanks for everything. Um, we are, as a band, we are psyched right now about doing this new record and bringing it to you guys, and uh, I can say is, is we can't wait. So everybody, hope to see you out there at the shows, and, and thank you. All right, folks, 
Adios, uh, buenas noches, good night, guten morgen, bon dia, bon noche. Hasta uh, la vista. Hasta la vista, hasta <laughs> luego. Uh, in whatever language, we love you and we appreciate your support. We'll see you soon on the road. Keep in touch with us on the HQ. Thank you.